everybody, I hope that you're doing well and welcome back to Plants and Lucia. My name is Lucia and today we're going to be making a succulent potting mix recipe. Okay, coming up. Before we start, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Since I made the video for my regular houseplant potting mix recipe, many of you have asked for this video, so I'm so happy that I finally got to it. <laughs> the first thing for a recipe is one part of sand. So you can use horticultural sand, and I'm actually using sand that you can also use in aquariums, and it has worked for me, so yeah. Sand is very important because it will add drainage to our potting mix, which is really important for succulents because they retain lots of water already, so we don't want them sitting in wet soil. The second ingredient is one part of perlite. Perlite is actually a puffed volcanic rock that will help us with two things. Because perlite absorbs water and at the same time is a very light material, it will make our potting mix very fluffy, which is very important when protecting the roots of our succulents. The second thing is that perlite also adds drainage to our potting mix, which again is very important for our succulents. Now, before you use perlite, make sure that you run water through it. This is because perlite is very dusty, and when we're working with it, it can be bad for our lungs. So before you use it, make sure that you run water through it so you can protect your lungs. Okay, you guys, the third ingredient is half a part of warm castings. Warm castings are pretty amazing because they will bring the nutrients to our potting mix. So they contain nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, which are very important elements for our plants. They also have micronutrients and beneficial bacteria. So half part of warm castings. And the last ingredient is gonna be half part of coconut coir. Coconut coir will actually retain some moisture for our plants, which is great in a mix that has so much drainage. <laughs> so the coconut coir will come in a block like this. So all you have to do is take the amount of the block that you need and submerge it in water. Remember, most likely when it absorbs the water, it will actually double in size. So make sure that you cut the part that you need for your mix. If you see that you cut more than what you need it, it's okay, just store the unused coconut coir in a dry place. I prefer to use coconut coir instead of pit moss because pit moss is actually a fossil fuel. So it takes many years to be made and it's not good for the planet when we use it. Instead, coconut coir is a renewable source. So in that sense, it tends to be more sustainable. Okay, so let's start with the process. First, we're going to add the coconut coir. So this is gonna be half a cup. Then we will add half a part of warm castings, our one part of sand, and our perlite. And now my favorite part, we mix. And here we have it, my friends. Our succulent potting mix is ready. If you have any other recipes, please let me know in the comments so we can all learn together. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Okay, ciao! <laughs>